All right, guys, I'm not working on the Yoda today, but as you can see, there's some different wheels on it. You might also be able to see it's a little lower to the ground. <clears throat> so yeah, this is just a update video. Um, I'm probably going to push this to the front. I still have a handful of videos I still need to edit and upload, but I'll probably push this, push this one to the front. This would be the newest video. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I got some different wheels. You might also be able to see that they are blue. These are, uh, was it, Matagi, uh, Matagi racing wheels. The same brand wheels that I actually had on it that I didn't know at the time when I decided to get these wheels. I decided to get these wheels uh, over a year ago, but I only got them uh, not quite a month ago. But, um, yeah, the Ritagi Racing Battle 154s, I believe they are. These are 18 by 8 with a 30 offset. <clears throat> and obviously the 5 by 4.5 bolt pattern. You might also see that there is a spacer. <clears throat> when I first got this truck, the wheels that were on it. These wheels also had spacers on it and with those spacers <clears throat> it brings the wheels right up to the fender liners in the front and the rear it's it's pretty much as far out as it can get because <clears throat> in the u.s model of these uh, toyota pickup trucks they all had the four-wheel drive beds that they would put on the four-wheel drive models overseas <clears throat> But they have a two-wheel drive front fender. In fact, I've been thinking and throwing out the idea of getting... I need this fender anyway. This fender's bent <clears throat> from the from the wreck. I've been thinking about getting the four-wheel drive fenders for it. However, you get the four-wheel drive fenders, I'll need to replace the whole bumper and grill setup because that's different between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. But that would give me a little bit of poke on the front which will match the poke in the rear uh, the the flare in the rear and that'll also give me just the slightest bit more room on the inside this works but when i get two people inside it rubs there's the inner side of the fender right here it's rolled over so it's not going to rip the tire or, or slice the tire or anything but it is rolled uh it does hit a little bit I had to take the inner fender liners out because they were damaged from the wreck, but they were rubbing and making noise. I also, there's this pinch weld right here. It's usually facing straight down. I hammered that flat. So where the, where the pinch weld is supposed to be like this up here, I just hammered it flat all the way down. You can kind of see part of it sticking out right up there. I also, there's a, there was a rub spot here and a rub spot here. I just took a two, a four pound, two pound hammer, two pound hammer, and just knocked back the firewall right here. Not a lot. It does not hit at all here. Same thing on this side. Hammered all that back. Here's part of that pinch weld you might be able to see up there. How it was. Hammered all that flat, and again, there was two, there's a nut right here where the bolt was sticking out, and there's a nut right here where a bolt was sticking out. I chopped the bolts flat where they weren't poking out of that uh, welded nut, and then I hammered this back around this area. Same as the other side. And like I said, it doesn't hit at all, except right here, just a little bit over certain bumps, it rubs right here. <coughs> So yeah, what I did for the lowering kit, the rear has two inch Beltec, has two inch Beltec drop kit, so the two inch blocks with the U-bolts. The front, I just heavily decranked the, tor the torsion bars on the front. I just took the torsion bars and started lowering them all the way down. 
until I got to here. This is a little much because it settled. What I originally had, the very crown of the tire and the fender, I had an inch. Well, after I moved it, got it off the lift and drove it around, this settled probably about another half inch. Um, so, I mean, it's fine. <clears throat> it's fairly even all the way around. But something I did have to do, you'll probably see there's supposed to be a bump stop right there. I had to take the bump stops off because they were riding on the bump stop. Two inch Beltec <clears throat> blocks in the rear and I just de decranked the torsion bars in the front until I got the ride height I wanted. Um, and then did another alignment because the toe was out. But yeah, uh, I've been driving, like I said, about a month or so. Not quite a month with this setup. I've been driving about a week with the lowering kit. I've been driving about another two and a half, uh, maybe three, three and a half weeks with the rims. And uh, I'm loving it. Um, my tires that I went with were uh, Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 4s. And they are 225, a 40, 18s. That matches whatever tires were on the other wheels. Um, I don't know what that correlates with with the factory, but 225, 40, 18s, and the wheels are 18 by 8 with a 30 offset and obviously 5 by 4 wheel spacers or 5 by 4 bolt pattern. The spacers are, I'll put the specs down at the bottom, but they're hub centric to hub centric. So they're uh, hub centric to the truck, which I think is 67.1. And then it's 67.1, 67.1, and then I have a uh, a spacer ring, a hub ring, from the rim, which is like 72.56 to uh, 67.1. I did have to shave down. There was some rust buildup on the on the hub because those wheel spacers it did have were not hub centric, so I took the wheel spacers that it had. Uh, off had to sand down all the uh, corrosion and stuff on the hub surface and then on those spacers where it popped through the spindle up here in the front where it necked down for the hub i had to shave around the front and then on the back where it mounts against the, actually against the knuckle i had to shave that just a little too also physically on the knuckle after you get past the hub surface, it's just it's just bare cast until you get to the dust cap. I had to take where the bare cast was and grind some of that down so it would fit through the spacer. So, but with all this on, the, the wheels are perfectly centered, perfectly supported, and I don't have any any issues. They are uh, I had them. I road force balanced the tires, did all that stuff. It helped a bunch. Um, other than when I ordered them, they gave me three. 30 offset and 143 offset that kind of upset me a little bit because they uh i couldn't get it swapped out because i'd already mounted a tire on even though it was their fault anyway so i had to order another tire myself and put it on the back but uh yeah that's what it looks like I'm glad I got the wheels on and I'm glad I got it lowered. It looks a hell of a lot better than it was. Honestly, the next thing for this truck is, well, the next thing I want to do is take that exhaust where it's coming out right there, put a Y on it, bring it up over the axle and put it down in the factory location here. And then also put one here. So I had Still keeping the same muffler set up and everything. I just want to bring it all the way back out the back to here. That's fine. It's, you know, it is loud in the cab. There is some drone, not terrible. Um, I'm usually listening to my music loud enough I can't hear it. But it will be nice getting it from there all the way out to the back. The only thing is I'm probably going to have to do some heat wrap for the air shocks in the back because where the airline is on that side and where it comes around is right where I need to run the exhaust through. But other than that, that's it. Just a small update. Talk to you later.